The Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus represents the very best of what Samsung has to offer. It is their flagship smartphone that is supposed to continue on the S series. This is the S8 Plus, which as the Plus denotes, is the larger variant of the S series. So physically, the Galaxy S8 is not much larger than the Galaxy S7. So it sports a thickness of uh, 8.1 millimeters thick, and it weighs just 173 grams. So the design is uh, quite stunning and uh, if you have small hands, it, you're in luck because actually though it has a very large screen, it actually is quite narrow so you can still reach from, edge, from side to side of it unlike much larger phones. So just a quick tour around the device, yes of course the 6.2 inch screen is the, is the main highlight of the, of the new feature, the infinity display as Samsung calls it. It still maintains its very slim and uh, sleek design just as the S7 before it. In fact, actually it looks very similar to the S7. The camera is really flushed, so there's hardly any uh, camera bump at all. Uh, apart from the reconfiguration, you also get a, uh, a USB Type-C port over here. Still the headphone jack, little speaker, which could be louder. Volume buttons on the side the Bixby button which can only bring up Bixby so this is the new AI feature that is uh, supposed to help out your experience using the Galaxy S8 though it doesn't feel like there's a lot of really uh, cool features in Bixby at the moment interface is using TouchWiz it's the latest version of TouchWiz and you can of course uh, use use uh, Android 7 features like so so you can uh, bring up you can bring up uh, different elements, so like use the camera and surf the web at the same time though I don't see why anyone would do that. But probably the best uh, new feature is that it has a iris unlocking mechanism. So it uses the camera on top and it manages to scan whatever uh, face that's registered to it and unlocks automatically. So this is a pretty cool new feature that's on the S8 Plus that I really liked. Though, uh, recent reports say that this uh, security feature can be fooled with some clever tricks. Though it's still a very convenient way to unlock it if you don't like using the fingerprint reader on the back to unlock the phone. Coming down to the performance, the Galaxy S8 is an undeniably powerful phone. It packs uh, Samsung's Xenos 8895 processor that's coupled with 4GB of RAM. As usual, specs sound really good on paper, but we can't really tell until we really get down to the nitty gritty of some benchmark tests. And here are some of the results of our benchmarks. So across the board, the benchmark shows that the Galaxy S8 comes really close to the rest of the crowd, but outpaces them by miles when it comes to Antutu 2 benchmarks, and uh, as well as Geekbench 4 and 3D Mark scores. So unlike uh, the last, last year's version, the Galaxy S8 comes with only one variant. So it has a 64GB uh, model inside. Uh, and you can also slot in a micro SD card that accepts cards up to 256GB in size. And even 64GB alone was uh, pretty sat satisfactory when we were taking it out for regular usage, installing apps, playing games, uh, shooting photos and videos on it. It feels really uh, good all around. It has a 3500mAh battery which is uh, larger than the S8's 3000mAh battery. So it has an advantage on paper. Honestly though, this phone was able to last me throughout most of the day. So in terms of photography, the Galaxy S8 ships with a 12 megapixel camera that's really similar to last year's Galaxy S8 model. It shares the same sensor and adds some enhancements this time around. Uh, performance overall is really fast and quick. Uh, picture quality is really crisp and it's about on par with the previous version and produces really colorful vibrant photos uh, sharpness wise everything really sh looks sharp across the board and produces great looking bouquets when you want to take um, when you want to take some uh, close-up shots with it it also it really impresses it really has impressive uh, low light shooting capabilities sometimes when you're shooting in low light it the the pic the end result of the picture is even brighter than what you see in real life front camera has received a bump up from 5 megapixels to 8 megapixels so definitely this is a cool feature to look out for if you're a selfie lover uh, apart from that there's also a video recording with this and you get up to UHD quality with it 
uh, though in most, in most cases uh, full HD looks pretty good as well and it you save more space if you're shooting in full HD. Uh, the big improvement this time around is that optical image, image stabilization is a lot better and smoother. So on the whole, the Galaxy S8 really is the best phone that Samsung has made to date. It, some may say that it's just an incremental step up from the S7 Edge but there are enough improvements here in terms of the performance, the nice big screen and the battery to really warrant a second look at this device. Uh, some disappointments would be the uh, half-baked nature of Bixby. It doesn't seem attractive at all and really you, all, you, all you could need is just uh, you know the Google Assistant right here. It still stands in pretty well. So Bixby, as great as uh, Samsung makes it out to be, we wish that there was more to Bixby than it is today. In closing, the Galaxy S8 stands on its own as a top tier device that delivers some fantastic viewing experiences, excellent performance, and serves as a great entertainment device when you're on the go. Uh, that's about it. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to us. And thank you for watching.